everyone, this is Teacher Babes and welcome for today's discussion. So, for today's topic is all about the inverse variation. So, makinig lang kayo at sana may matutunan kayo sa aking mga i-discuss. So, enjoy watching! Ating objectives for today ay define the inverse variation. Yun ang una. Pangalawa is illustrate situations that involves inverse variation. And then, ang last one na objectives natin is perform activities involving the inverse variation. So, sana makuha ninyo at magawa ninyo ang ating mga objectives sa lesson na ito. Okay, so let's have examples. Example number one is, write the equation of variation of the given statement, the speed r of a moving object is inversely proportional to the time t traveled. Okay, so tandaan natin na ang ating general rule when it comes to inverse variation is y is equal to k over x. So, dito sa situation number 1, ang ginamit is the speed r. So, imbis na y, papalitan natin ng r. So, kasi nga, the speed r of a moving object is inversely proportional. So, inversely proportional to the time t traveled. So, imbis na x, papalitan natin ng t. And then, copy the constant k. So, itong k is the constant. So, ito na ang ating equation of the variation sa statement number 1 na the speed r of a moving object is inversely proportional to the time t traveled. So, ito na siya. So, let's have example number 2. So, in example number 2, the situation is if y varies inversely as x, tandaan, y varies directly as x, ito yung ating general formula when it comes to the inverse variation. And y is equal to 48 when x when x is 10. Okay, so sa number 2, ang hahanapin natin is find the constant of the equation. So, alam naman natin kapag sinabing constant, ito yung letter k. Tandaan, k is the constant. Yan ang una natin hahanapin. Si constant na k. And then, ang pangalawa natin hahanapin is the equation. So, sa number 2, meron tayong dalawang na dapat hanapin. The constant and the equation of the variation. Okay, let's solve first for the constant k. So, y is equal to k over x. And y is equal to 48 when x is equal to 10. So, let us just substitute. So, y is 48. So, y is 48 and then si k just copy kasi nga siya yung hahanapin natin na constant. And then, all over, x is 10. So, let us substitute 10 sa x. Okay. Tandaan, lahat ng whole number may denominator na 1. So, 48 over 1. Kasi 48 divided by 1, the answer is 48. And then, ito na ang ating equation. Ang sinunod na gagawin natin is cross multiply. So, let us multiply 48 times 10. And then, 1 sa k. 48 times 10, the answer is 480. And then, 1 times k, the answer is 1k or just simply write k. So, 480 is our constant. So, 480 ang value ng constant. Since nahanapin natin ang value ng constant na 480, ang sunod naman nahanapin natin is yung equation of the variation. Okay, Ang general rule natin is y is equal to k over x. Since nahanap na natin ang k, which is 480, papalitan lang natin ang k ng 480. So, 480. And then, copy y and then x. Ito na ngayon ang ating equation. Equation of the variation. Okay, so ganyan ang kadali kung paano mag-solve ng var ng inverse variation kapag hinahanap ang constant of the equation and then equation of the variation. So, let's move on to our last example which is example number 3. So, in example number 3, if y varies inversely as x, tandaan, y varies inversely as x, and it can be written as y is equal to k over x, and y is equal to 3, when x is equal to 4. Okay. 
So, ang hahanapin natin dito is find, find y when x is equal to 6. So, hahanapin natin si y. Pero bago natin mahanap si y, kailangan muna natin hanapin si constant na k. So, ito ang una nating hahanapin. Kapag nahanap na natin si constant na k, ang sunod na natin hahanapin naman is si equation of the variation. Pag nahanap na natin ang equation of the, of the variation, ito na ang last step para mahanap natin ang value ni y. So, sa number 3, meron tayong tatlong dapat hanapin. Una, si constant k. Pangalawa, si equation of the variation. And then, pangatlo naman is si y. Okay, so let us first find the value of the constant k. So, ang constant natin is k. So, y is equal to k all over x. Next, si y, papalitan natin ng 3. Let us just substitute y is equal to 3. And then, si k, just copy kasi nga, siya ang ha, inahanap natin na constant. And then, si x naman, papalitan natin ng 4. So, si x, papalitan natin ng 4. And then, sabi ko kanina, lahat ng whole number may denominator na 1. Kasi 3 divided by 1, the answer is 3. Next, kapag ganito na ang ating equation, let us just cross multiply. So, 3 times 4, the answer is 12. And then, 1 times k, the answer is 1k or let's just write k. So, meron na tayong value ng k which is 12. Ngayon naman, hahanapin natin si equation. Okay, tandaan, ang ating general rule is y is equal to k over x. Since nahanap na natin ang value ng k, so, let us just substitute. So, k, papalitan natin ng 12. So, si k magiging 12. And then, just copy y and then x. So, ito na ngayon ang ating equation of the variation. And then, the last one, ang hinahanap natin si y. Si y na ngayon ang hinahanap natin, hindi na si x. Okay, so, let's find y. Okay, so, meron na tayong equation of the variation, which is y is equal to 12 all over x. So, sabi kanina, when x is 6, so, may value si x na 6, kaya nga hanapin natin si y. So, copy y, and then, copy 12, and then, x is equal to 6. So, si x, papalitan natin ng 6, and then, y is equal to 12 divided by 6, the answer is 2. So, ang value na ngayon ni y is 2. Okay, so, nahanap na natin ang constant na k, ang equation of the variation, and then si y. Ganyan lang katali kung paano mag-solve ng inverse variation. Okay, since tapos na tayo mag-discuss ng inverse variation, let us generalize kung ano yung ating napag-usapan or kung ano yung ating na-discuss. So, una, ang statement ng Inverse variation is y varies inversely as x. Pangalawa, ang formula ng inverse variation is y is equal to k over x, where k is the constant. Tandaan, ang k ay ang constant. So, yan lang ang mga dapat tandaan when it comes to the inverse variation. So, ngayon, kayo naman ang magsasolve. So, now, it's your turn. Okay, yung sasagutan ninyo is madali lang naman. Okay, so ito yung statement natin. If y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 18 when x is equal to 3, find y when x is equal to 3. Okay, so para mahanap ang value ng y kapag ang value ni x ay 3, una, ang hahanapin muna natin is si constant na k. Pangalawa, pag nahanap natin si constant na k, ang pangalawa natin kahanapin is yung equation of the variation. And then, ang pangatlo is pwede na natin mahanap ang value ni y. So, yung tatlo lang na yun ang hahanapin ninyo dito sa now it's your turn. Okay, so kung tapos na kayo mag-solve doon sa pinapasolve ko sa inyo, so pakisagutan na lang yung ating assignment. So, ang assignment natin is the number of days needed in repairing a house varies inversely as the number of men working. 
it takes 15 days for two men to repair the house. How many men are needed to complete the job in six days? So, ang hahanapin ninyo o ang pinapahanap sa inyo is kung ilan daw na trabahador ang kailangan para makompleto ang trabaho na six days. So, good luck! And thank you sa pakikinig at sa panunood. Sana may natutunan kayo sa mga tinuro ko. Thank you so much! Oh,